I was talking to somebody today and something beautiful came out in that talk. That if you don't have a purpose in life, then life becomes a drag. Because then you're just living from day to day, one day to another, earning more, spending more, and therefore owing more, and then building more, and then spending more, and then earning more, and working harder, and harder, and harder, and harder. This thing never stops. This vicious cycle never stops for anybody. The beauty is, it doesn't have to be this way. It is this way because most people don't have a purpose. So either you discover your purpose in life, because that will keep you busy in the most beautiful manner. That will make you feel worth in your own life. That will make you feel elevated. That most above all, it will make you feel contented, satisfied. You know how you feel after a very good meal, seven course meal. You don't want to even think about the next meal then. That contentment, when your heart is full, when your mind is full, you will experience the same contentment, same feeling. And that comes from a sense of purpose. I could easily say not everybody is lucky to have a purpose. But that would be a wrong statement. Because purpose has nothing to do with luck. Some people discover their purpose by chance. I don't know what and who those people are. I only know those who cultivate their sense of purpose in life. But until such time you reach that level of self-confidence and conviction, where you say, this is my purpose in life, and nobody is ever too young or too old to have a purpose. Until you reach that state, you can go for the next best thing, which is a passion. If you don't have a purpose, do you at least have a passion? Passion for something you want to do, something you want to learn. Music, dancing, painting, writing, anything. Anything. I don't know what that is for you or what that may be for you. But don't give up until you find something. Because once again, if you have a passion or a purpose, you will get much more out of your life. Like I wrote in my blog once, a quote from Oscar Wilde, all of us are in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. The circumstances are not going to change by a great deal in your life. The people you are stuck with are not going to change a great deal either. They are who they are, you are who you are. But you have a choice. You have the option to look elsewhere. To focus your attention, your emotions, your thoughts, yourself elsewhere. But if there is nowhere else, then where will you focus it? If there is no purpose or there is no passion, then where will you direct your attention? All the while, in all the scriptures, all the scriptures on meditation, yoga, Vedanta, all of them say mind's natural state is bliss and purity. But I have discovered that mind's natural state is not bliss. It's shit. It's, it's the opposite. Because when you are by your, on your own and you don't have anything to do, there is a 99.9999% chance that you will have a negative thought. Mind's supernatural state is bliss. The state beyond natural, it's pure. Because the natural state has been covered so long, it's a vessel that is so old now, that depositions of dust of thoughts, emotions, psychic imprints of layers and layers, layers and layers of desires, expectations have totally covered it. Now, if you were to scrape it, 
we will pretty much make holes in this vessel because the layers have covered the vessel so thoroughly, so completely. <laughs> so, if you don't have a purpose and you don't have a passion, then find something that will keep you busy. It doesn't have to be a purpose or a passion. Something that keeps you busy. And if you don't like being busy with anything, and if you don't have a passion, and you don't have a purpose, then nature's designed something really great, great for those people. Those who don't have a purpose, don't have a passion, and don't have anything to keep themselves busy with, nature gives them bucket loads of responsibility. You will never run out of, run out of responsibilities because that becomes your mind's way of keeping itself busy. Because you're not enjoying all the things you could. You're not living for any cause. You're not living for what you could do. Then nature says, okay, what do I do with this person? Let me give him or her enough responsibilities to deal with that will keep them busy. Chinta pramyam chapralyantu pahasrita. Until your last breath, there is going to be some unfinished business. Nobody runs out of tasks to take, to do. So, if you can write down maybe every single day one new thing you thought, you know, I would love to learn this. Who knows, maybe you might list four or five things that you may go and try. And that may make all the difference to your life. And it doesn't have to be that you have to quit your jobs or things and just do that. But something, something that could keep you somehow busy, something that could give you a sense of purpose, something that you may feel passionate about.